Hey guys! Today we will talk a little bit about the TiVo Flash electronics. How to open the enclosure, what we have inside, and what we can do to improve it. So first, let's open the enclosure. Start by disconnecting the Z-motor cables. Disconnect the hot end and BL touch cables. Disconnect the LCD cables. Remove the Y axis and stop sensor. Mark its position with a marker so that you can install it in the exact same position later on. Untighten the side frame screws. You don't need to remove them. We need to do this because the red cover plate is a bit oversized and will not slide unless you do this. Remove the back screws. Now you can pull the electronics enclosure out but just enough to access the Y-axis motor and disconnect the cable. Pull the bed and carefully remove the enclosure. Be careful with it because of the heat bed cable. Remove the five small top screws to open the red panel. Open carefully. You have the cooling blower cable that you need to disconnect. Now that we have the electronics out, we can look inside. We see the MKS Gen L board with the removable TMC drivers, the solid state relay that controls the AC heat bed, and the power supply. It's a 24 volt 8 amp model. You don't need a powerful power supply because you don't have a DC heat bed to supply current to. The BL Touch sensor is connected differently from what we are used to, but it works the same. TiVo used a couple of end stop ports to connect the BL Touch sensor, one for the signal wires and the other for the power wires. The servo control wire, which is the yellow one, is the only one connected to the servo port. Now you can check the driver's output current by measuring the VREFs and adjust if they need to. For the TMC 2100s, you can set them to 1.00 volts. You can eventually go a bit higher, but if you do that, I recommend you to increase the cooling by adding an additional fan. You can also install an LV8729 driver for the extruder. If you do, don't forget to add the jumper under the driver. The VREF value for this driver depends on which you get. You can get the ones with 0.1 ohms resistor or the 0.22 ohms resistor. The VREF formula will be different according to the driver you get. In my case, I have the one with 0.22 ohms resistor and I have it set with a VREF of 1.00 volts. Check the video description for some links, including my previous video where I explain VREFs, formulas and driver types in detail. Close everything back and connect all the cables. Load an STL and start your print. Monitor the temperature of the motors during the first print. The motors can be warm to the touch but never hot. If they get hot, reduce the VREF of the matching driver. And that's it! Hope this information is useful. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and if you want to support my work, you can with Patreon or PayPal. We will see you guys next time. Bye!